Hello, happy Thursday. I tried filming this already and it went so badly. Going to that sweet little... This is a terrible video. Hello and welcome to me trying to teach you how to play I Kissed Someone. It wasn't you. The song came out last week. Thank you so much for your nice word. The video came out yesterday. Um, you can watch it. It's very steamy, very saucy. Also very dark. Just like the best kind of curry. So I've decided I'm just going to teach you the exact fingering that I use on guitar and then I'll show you the chords that I could play on piano to represent them and maybe tell you some botched names of what I think they are and all you musos can uh, can tell me what you think they are as well. Ultimately, it doesn't matter, but let me try and convey. Part one, guitar versus. All right, here we go. I kiss some it wasn't you Leaning in like I am supposed to do I pulled away and I gasped for him I didn't feel a single thing Nice, so I play with the capo on the second fret So we're going to start up here And then make sure you mute the fourth string And all the others after it, just don't play those Otherwise you get a spicy seventh, which we... Oh, yeah. Strumming pattern, I don't know how to describe it. It goes. <laughs> Good luck. Alright, so we'll begin. I kissed someone, it wasn't me. And then we move up. Leaning in like I'm supposed to do. This makes a sort of 70 shapes, kind of like a triangle. Nice. And then we move up one. And you can leave the string open. Pulled away and I gasped for him. I didn't feel a single thing. Just move it down to make it major to minor. And then back again. So just those four chords for now. And then you're just going to play that and repeat it again. I kissed someone, it wasn't me. Locked inside a slut this eve. All worked up as something dead. I think it's time to go to bed. And that is your verses. You're actually only playing three strings in um, the verses, so make sure you mute all those other ones. Next up, chorus. Put me in a car. I just want to go home now. Put me in a bath. I forget you are gone. key changes to B minor now so the chords are a little different, a little spicier. We're going to play this shape, which is technically an E minor but inverted. And now we're playing four strings. Put me in a car, let me change to this. I just want to go, let me move up here, and then descend that, and then move that down to here and play these. Okay, so it goes, put me in a car, I just want to go home now, and again, put me in a bath, I forget you are gone now, then hold this for a while, I know, no, I know, no, I know, no, then you're moving down to the first chord you played in this chorus, and then it goes, me. I play a nice little open fifth C chord and then back to that seventh C chord nice and then you're back to the verses there are two sections you need to learn a verse and a chorus and it just repeats so once you've learned those things you can play the whole damn song because it just repeats I kiss someone because it's fair what do I tell you would you care so deeply hurt you pick through or are you kissing someone too Put me in a car. I just want to go home now. Put me in a bus. I forget you are gone now. I don't know at all, at all, at all. So really, with this song, you're only playing maximum four strings at any time, um, which makes me think I should maybe 
translate this onto ukulele. Oh well, four notes can give you all the information you need. Let's go the complete opposite of that and have a look at the piano chords if you like to visualise it on those. I will just once again say I don't really know what I'm talking about um, and if you are theory trained then you might be ready to shake me. But let's have a look and explore what's going on there and all the other notes I hear for this song. Okay, so the verses are in B major, the chord you play first is just a B5, and then the melody confirms the major third. Please don't go on about me about my um, hand positions, I, I don't know what I'm doing. I kissed someone, it wasn't you. And then we move to the major third, seven. Meaning and like I'm supposed to do. And then pulled away and I got for him, fourth to minor fourth. I didn't feel a single thing. That's all fairly simple. Now let's move on. So it's either an E minor um, first inversion or a G major 7 or like a G6 <laughs> fly. All we know is that it goes to this F sharp dominant 7. I just want to go and this is where it gets interesting. It sounds like this chord which is what like a B minor fourth. I have no idea. All I know is it descends down. But that could also be a D second inversion. Uh, could be an E7, could be a G sharp diminished. But then there's also an F sharp in there, so it's like this chord. Probably somewhat easier than what I'm thinking, but it's either a G sharp diminished or an E7. And then same. And it also could be this. Oh man, what even is that? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> but it's also got this in it. And those. So it's just all these notes. <laughs> That could be a G major 7, but it's also got a C sharp in it. So what's this? <laughs> that feels like a G to me. Or it could be an E minor or a G major 7. But then I definitely know it goes to a, a B minor. And then just a classic F sharp. I don't even think it's an F sharp 7. But it holds so strong that it's implied that it is. And that's that. That's why it's so difficult. There's just so many notes. And the string parts are like, I just added what I felt would go. Um, so yeah, there's like that cool C sharp and that chord. So it could also be an E minor 7. Yeah, let me know, let me know what you think. If, if there's any chords that I've thrown out there that you're like, this is definitely this. Um, I'd be interested. But also, I just don't know. Make of that what you will. Good luck. That was how to play my song, I kissed him when it wasn't you. Was it? Or was it just a hot mess? Bye! See you next week! My album's out in... I think about two weeks.